Hello, hello, hello. My name is Anzala and you are watching me on the e-show only on Womanly. Hello, hello, hello and hello. welcome to the e-show. <laughs> so how hello. are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Dude. I'm so glad that you took time out for me from your very to. busy schedule and you came here. So busy. I've been <laughs> so busy. God. So how is Karachi weather treating you? Um, it's treating me a type of way. I mean, uh, it's been pretty insane with the rains and everything and like the lights always gone and all yeah. those things. But um, I feel like it's nice because we hardly get like rain sometimes. So yeah. it's, it's good, actually. I really enjoy it, not gonna lie. What about you? How's it treating you? You know, in Lahore, <laughs> yeah. rain is like celebrated. Yeah, you like know? every day. Like it's of. like the yeah. pakoras are fried. The and chai is the made. The chai is yeah. made and all of that. And over here, it's like so like gloomy. bad and oh, gloomy. And people it. are like, it's such a gruesome weather. And yeah. you know, we need to have this. And like it floods. Like yeah. crazy. It's just mainly, we just hate it because of the roads. Yeah. Because nobody, it's weird because we live in front of a sea and we still don't have any drainage system. So Karachi do better. <laughs> the government needs to the government up their needs game. To really up their game. <laughs> so I want to start by yes. asking you yes. that obviously I fully stalked you on Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> and I love the art that you post. Thank you. So what is art to you? Um, it is mainly um, a gigantic way of just kind of expressing myself and how I feel inside and just my emotions. I feel like it's, um, it's very, uh, even if I like find like a painting out of nowhere, I feel like I'm going to relate to it. And I'm going to be like, okay, that's very personalized to how I feel. It's like mm -hmm. finding a song that's yeah. exactly the right kind yeah. of, you know? So, um, yeah. And I like to kind of reflect that in my Instagram because, um, my Instagram was mainly just kind of a project, which, which was like a, just a me project. It was yeah. for me yeah. specifically. Yeah. Cause as soon as like brands kind of come in, they want it to be very like spick and spam, like yeah. clean and like, Oh, you can't wear this and you can't wear that. And I'm yeah. like, well, you signed up for this, you know, <laughs> so the art and the fashion is going to come in regardless. Yeah. So, yeah. So do you use it like as a form of self-expression sometimes? Yes, yes. And how does, you know, because you did acting before. Yes. And then now you transitioned into music. So yes. how was that? Like, how did you transition from like um, acting into? Well, it was a very difficult process. I'm not going to lie. It was, um, so I, I was very bad in school mm -hmm. and I had told my mom, I was like, listen, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this anymore. Can I start acting? Yeah. So I started acting and it took me to places and it was like, okay, like, you know, I was getting the recognition that I thought I deserved. And then after a little bit, I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this because the stories and the, and the writing and everything and like victimizing what the, the victimizing girl. the women and just like Denzel in distress all the yeah. time. Like I hated it because I was raised by a very strong woman. Yeah. So for me to act like some girl who did not get married to the guy who lives in the Barabarwali roof is yeah. like, you know, it's stupid. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I, I hated all of that. I just, I, I just could not. And the, the, the set life was horrible. And I was just like, you know what, this is not where I'm supposed to be. And then um, to leave that, I kind of transitioned into modeling because I was like, oh, I can at least express myself a little bit more. I can do yeah. the makeup I want to do. I can do the mm. hair I want to do. I can like figure out what I want to wear. And I like dressing up. So, yeah. you know, that was one thing where I could do it. And then the music kind of followed me like since I was really young. So I, this is something that I really wanted to do um, since I was just like a baby. And um, as soon as I kind of had the chance to do it and met a bunch of insanely talented individuals. I was like, you know what? I feel like this is the perfect kind of environment that I should be in. Yeah. Because I love learning, you yeah. know, and they really taught me like so much. Yeah. And it was great. That's was wonderful. Great, yeah. So when you came into the industry, obviously that your parents were already from the industry. Yeah. But, you know, it, it is a very male centric yeah. platform to yeah, be yeah. on. Yeah. And you know, at times when you're young and you're a woman, unfortunately, in the South Asian society, people take you for granted yes. or sort of, you know, exploit your talent for how yeah. young you are. Yeah. So have there been instances where that has happened? Yeah, there have been. Um, there's like, I don't know, because they constantly compare you to other people. Even when you don't feel like there's competition, they're going to make you feel like there is competition, yeah. which is sad because um, as people, we are all individuals. Like if I am, you know, a 
patli si like dark skinned girl you cannot compare me to a healthy white skinned girl because we're not, not the same yeah. and that's not how i'm made and you yeah. can't you know and that's what would happen to me on sets a lot of the times because the the other actresses were white yeah <laughs> and i was not yeah so um the the skin complexion was an issue me being very very skinny was the issue me um acting the way that i wanted was an issue and then people not quite understanding where i was coming from was a huge issue for me mm-hmm. i being in the um in the acting business i didn't know how to read urdu mm-hmm. so and i'm a little bit dyslexic not going to lie so i would tell the ad to read it to me but everyone had an issue with that so they they they're not they're not open to people with differently who different, are differently able yeah, yeah you know like thodi thodi disabilities that they, they just don't they can't they can't fathom it yeah which was problematic for me because i am somebody who genuinely can't read urdu yeah. like to save my life yeah so um which yeah. is so unfortunate because these are all very very you know prevalent issues yeah. that should be talked about enough and uh they're not yeah. you know and they're not sort of recognized and they're not given the right attention that yeah. they need yeah. so we need that yeah. but i'm glad that you pointed that out cuz sure, i'm man. sure there are a lot of people who are suffering from dyslexia or adhd yeah. and yeah. you know it's just so prevalent but not talked really, about enough for sure and they don't that's the thing like even with the this industry like you are only showing like dancers in distress who want men but you're not showing like there's so much there's so much that you can show yeah, there's so with much your more, media yeah. you can show mental health issues you can show crime you can show you know so many things and yeah. they just choose to show you the same thing over and over again and the the repetitiveness of the stories and everything was something that really really like irritated me yeah cuz i was just like i don't want to do this anymore man yeah and even if there's like a minority of women who are standing on their own feet like your mother yes. you know who are doing this yeah. and who are sort of are, are the breadwinner of the house of the family, yeah. that 1% needs to be shown so that other women who want to start up yeah. this thing can get you know motivated or yeah, an example they don't do that like there's no and believe it or not like the the class that they they show us in the dramas um which is like lower middle middle class class right and that's the kind of the audience that you're making it for as well those women the actual women that we are acting as are much smarter than our characters yeah they're insane yeah. they're cool as hell yeah. like they're going to have their phones they're going to have their tiktoks they're going to wear makeup they're going to do whatever they want they're going to stand up for themselves yeah like i'm making like i would make dramas for the average parlor wali ladki yeah. right and she is you know she is an icon yeah and i want her to be an icon and yeah. i don't want her to watch these dramas and feel like that she has to give herself to yeah. women or society mm. or any of that stuff yeah because you are strong is just as just how you are yeah. you know you have the power to do that mm. that that's just what we're showing and that's just sad you know that's it's that's so unfortunate really and these unrealistic beauty standards Ugh, i hate it you I need to it. be a certain way you need to be a skin tone you need yeah. to look a certain yeah. way your thighs need to be you covered and this and that a proper pakistani girl yeah and and what is a proper pakistani girl shalwar kameez dupatta yeah shalwar kameez dupatta chai lenge chai peene har 2 minute baad it's like ab main aapke liye aap baithe hain main aapke liye chai laati hu oh my god you know that dialogue yeah aap fresh ho ke aaye main aapke liye chai laati hu Dude, what is that all about? Every single every time. Every single time. If someone if if I turn on a drama yes. and if I would get a dollar every time they would say that I would be rich literally, as <laughs> literally like main aapke liye chai bana ke likh raha hu. Aap fresh ho jaye. Aap fresh ho jaye. What is this fresh ho jaye? What is this? Mere ghar mein kabhi kisi ne nahi bola fresh ho jaye. Fresh ho jaye. Like no. God. And how they drink so much chai? How are they drinking so much chai? I know. How are you as a Pakistani family drinking this much chai after every two scenes? Yeah. Explain it to me. With with the perfectly set cookies. Ha ha. All of it. <laughs> Pakode, uh, samosa. Ek hi tray hoti hai mujhe lagta hai ke wo har jagah jo hai na. Do they wo... actually in reality they actually leave these pakoras in the in the what do you call it? The samosas and stuff and then they bring them after like 3 hours of, and then we use them in the shots. And a lot of the time you the chai sometimes and a lot of times the chai that they bring is thandi oh so do better drama <laughs> industry do better <laughs> so i love your dressing sense and i feel like so tell me does your art sort of resonate with it obviously does so does your art inspire your clothing or does your clothing inspire your art hmm i think both uh i think it mainly 
very much depends on how I'm feeling that certain day. Mm -hmm. um, and my art, uh, usually what happens is like, I'll find a painting and I'll be like, yo, that would look really sick on a shirt. Yeah. And then, or I would find like a shirt and I'd be like, yo, that would look really sick on a painting. So do you paint it yourself? No, not really. Okay. I like to look for pieces. So I'm, I'm heavy on thrifting. Ooh. I love thrifting. I love... You have to teach me. Oh, dude, I will take you. Okay, no. Um, There's uh, this place that we go to all the time and they have a lot of like exported kind of not exported what's the word they have those um they're rejected they're piece. rejected piles yeah and some clothes in there not gonna lie slap dude they're insane and um you know like and a lot of the weird pieces now you're always gonna find there mm -hmm. surprisingly because over here what happens is like you go to like high-end brands which is like mango and uh, next and all of these places but they don't have the fitting or the kind of aesthetic that you're trying to go for. Yeah. And over here, I think people don't understand that like clothes are all about the aesthetic. Yeah. It's, it's a persona. Yeah. You're taking in a persona and you're making yourself into that person. Yeah. So um, today I am... I love your outfit. I'm a, I'm a rocker. No, I'm not a rocker. <laughs> I'm a biker. Check. Biker girl. I'm a biker girl. Yeah. yeah love so that. So those are the vibes. So I look, I, I look like the complete opposite. You should have given me like oh, a vibe like, check. You look like someone who's doing an interview. <laughs> you look like the host. Typical. Oh, we love that. We love that for you. But yeah, dude, it's um, fashion is like, uh, I, now that I'm growing up, I'm kind of realizing that I, I love like, you know, just pairing clothes together and like making fully outfits and just kind of... Um, becoming a persona mm -hmm. becoming a persona is like really really fun for me yeah um some days it's romantic some days it's edgy some days it's sad it's gloomy yeah. and it just very much depends on again like how i'm feeling during the day so if you were to define your style and you as a person how would you do that i know it's a very it's a very very difficult thing to do to like put it in one line or something you can hmm. take two or three <laughs> um i think i would say it's um so, uh, what's her face? Dua Lipa has an album and uh, her, her thing was called Retro Futurism. Mm. So I would say my fashion is very Retro Futurism. I love that. Yeah. I haven't heard that before. Yes, sir. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Keep it fresh, but keep it like, you know, edgy vintage and, and yeah. edgy and vintage. So yeah. in terms of your music, yes. you know, and you haven't recorded much music, but yeah. I heard one song on YouTube and I really liked it. And you know what? We were sitting in the morning and my cousin was yeah. sitting with me and yeah. he was like, you know what? This is something different. Yeah. I have not seen something like this. And I'm glad yeah. that she has her own sort of platform and, and her own team and yeah. everything that she's yeah. bringing this on because yeah. Pakistani industry, like this film industry, yeah. the music industry yeah. really needs it. Yeah, the thing is, like, all of these, uh, so all of these new artists, the my our, our whole generation that's come up with, like, indie music and stuff, I feel like that's a baby uh, industry right now. Yeah. And there's so much potential for growth and more genres and more types of things that, you know, people can bring to the, the table. And, you know, with the old people, like, with the older generation, they're kind of just making, like, you know, very Sufi kind of music, yeah. very, like, party kind of music, yeah. very, like drama film industry based kind of music yeah we're all making very individualistic music mm. it's very very uh representative of our characters and mm. who we are as a generation mm. and i feel like that's very very important because yeah. all of us if we hadn't spoken out like this i feel like there would have been no other way to do it better yeah because um this is the only way that we can get our ourselves mm. out there as a generation and i think it's just amazing and would you like plan on taking this music platform of yours when it grows like internationally i would love that yeah honestly. i would love to um i would love to be playing at like random places honestly that'd be insane to have, you have like, to come to canada dude i want to do a show in canada <laughs> i would love that that'd be insane yeah um but yeah dude i want i want it to become something you know i i don't want to waste something that's been so close to my heart for such a long time yeah um because when i was younger i was I would sing all the time. I would sing at the top of my lungs the worst kinds of songs, the worst kinds of lyrics, like everything. <laughs> it was just so bad. So, um, you know, your page is very different. Yes. And I'm sure that people have said a lot of people. They don't say anything. So what do you say in DMs or that? Man, uh, so people, like, uh, so people perceive it really well. People perceive it really well. Mostly, like, obviously, art people perceive it really well. But then there's 
there's people who are the normal people who are just like ye kya bakwasa huh. like I post like a painting or something and they're just gonna be like ye kya bakwasa ye kya ora and you're just like bro come on like let me post some <laughs> art out here I'm just yeah. trying to be like an individual yeah so yeah they just they don't like it sometimes it's not their cup of tea I feel like for them I'm too much yeah um, profile wise yeah. because usually all of the artists uh, and all the actresses that we have are very like minimalistic very Pakistani very whatever Pakistan wants out of them yeah and I'm not so I kind of fall into that niche of people that and I want to the thing is like I want to stay in that niche mm. I don't want to be commercialized at all yeah in that kind of sense so when brands reach out to you are they like yeah a lot of the times they do that because they're like they they're like oh we want it to be like oh aapki dressing bahut bold hai uh. the word bold <laughs> why is that received so negatively yeah. if i am a bold why why i got to be italic bro like let me be bold yeah. you know and that is my whole ass personality i can't just um i can't just constantly be what they want me to be and if as a brand you're reaching out to me you should know what you're about to get yourself into yeah. because my brand is my brand yeah. is completely based on art and fashion yeah. and i will wear whatever i want and the reason like if you're doing like they're not hiring you as a model where they're styling you and they're no, taking they're pictures of you as an artist yeah and so if they're giving yeah. you this and it's a collaboration yes. they need to know that that means when you are going to perceive the article yes. in a certain way and you're yes. going to present it in a certain way yeah. which is entirely subjective to you yes so they don't have a say in that no, they, don't. they just pay you on yeah. time they yes. better they don't that's the problem <laughs> i don't. i also have yeah. that they don't pay you on time yeah. but they should pay you on time yeah. and leave it to you and you should deliver and that's yeah. it and that's like my job is only to deliver right yeah. and if you want me to deliver i will deliver it the way that i will do it hmm. um i will understand their their like you know rules of what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do but for some reason they still do not like it hmm. i will wear the most basic clothes like blue jeans white shirt and do a shoot and they're going to be like no we don't like that and i'll hmm. be like man like i tried Yeah. Because if I if I do me, then this is me. Mm. I don't know what else to do other than that. I can't mm. con- I can't continue to be I can't I don't want to be basic for somebody else. Yeah. That's been my whole problem. You can't pay her enough to be basic. <laughs> and if you're going to pay me a hefty amount, then maybe I'll think about yeah. it. Yeah. A million dollars and she'll be basic. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. For a million dollars I'll do it. <laughs> So yeah. thank you so much thank you for coming here. Is there any advice you have to give for people who sort of want to maybe come into this industry or want to be like as artistic as you are yes. because there is a fair share of backlash in, in the South Asian society. Yeah. You know even anywhere in the world. Yeah. There is backlash. Yes. So what is your advice to those people who maybe want to come into the industry into acting or anything because mm. you really have experienced it all modeling, yes. filming, being yes. an actor, being an influencer, being a musician, yes. you you have it all, you yes. know. So what is your advice for them? I think my advice would be um just be mm. unapologetically you, man. Yeah. I think it's more about just that. Like do your own thing. Don't listen to other people because you are not other people and they don't pay your bills. So, yeah. you know, you pay your bills. <laughs> yeah. So, if you're going to pay your bills by being yourself, do it. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way that I've gotten this far and experienced kind of almost everything in the industry and always strive to do more. Mm. I feel like if you try to like settle for it, can't settle for less. Yeah. And you can't tell yourself, "Okay, oh, this is doing me good, so I'm just going to stay here." Try everything. Mm. I feel like that's the that's the best thing about having ADHD. You have to try everything. <laughs> so, for my generation, for uh the 97% of you that have ADHD, do whatever you want. Honestly, it's the best thing that you could do for yourself. I think that's the best advice yeah. to give to someone. So, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I love talking to you. Yes. And this is the first time we're meeting and honestly, I feel like we I I I vibed really well hey. with you. <laughs> I sing all the time um random stupid songs. You have to do it again. <laughs> Does it, guys? Guys. All right, three, two, one. Keep.